What's going on guys, Bacon here, and I'm going to show you how to score goals in NHL 15. Right oh. I'm going to start you guys off with the best way to score in this game, and no, I'm not starting with the breakaway. I'm starting with the most common shot in the game because that's what's going to happen more often. The most important part is letting that shot go just inside that circle right before the hash marks. Just inside that circle. I'll say it again. It can be a quick shot. It can be a pullback wrister. It can be a slap shot, but it's got to be just inside that circle and it seems to be going in top shell. I'll show you another example. A big slap shot just inside the hash marks. Bam. Top cheese. The goalie can't react. That time I went to the far side. Generally, I go to the short side, but he was covering it. The goalie seems to react to the play pretty good. He really follows the puck. But watch, eventually you just work your way to the inside of that hash marks, let her go. Short side again, snipe it. So if you can get yourself to the insides of the hash marks, make sure you're shooting top shelf, not low. But don't get me wrong, if they're gonna let you walk right up the middle, yeah, just let her go. You're gonna have a lot of luck there too. It's going to be tougher to get there though. Inside the circles, top shelf, that's goal number one. The next best way to score in this game is using your teammates with the one-timer. One-timers are back in full force this year. It's going to be a gold way. And coming out of the corner and passing it right on his tape like this so he can lean into it, that's going to be gold. The new puck physics, when you're on the rush together, it's tougher to get the shot off. So I think you're going to see a lot more one-timers go in when the guy's already set up as opposed to on the rush. But anyways, it's still going to be a good way to score. And they seem to be going in from pretty far out as well. One-timers are gold. Use it. Now the next way to score is breakaways. Look at this. With that new stride deke in NHL 15, that's how you're going to score on breakaways. It's a built-in left or right. You might as well use it. The backhander is also cheese. There's lots of ways you could score on a breakaway, but this way has got to be the easiest. It works in practice mode. It works in a game. If you get a breakaway, that's definitely an option for you. Get just past the hash marks, do your stride deke, and go upstairs. It'll go in. But if your opponent's not giving up breakaways and he's playing pretty good defense, try shooting low. Your guys are going to be out front and they can tip the puck pretty good. Just make sure you're shooting that puck low though because if you're shooting it high, it's probably going to get blocked or be tougher to tip. So shoot that puck low from the point and if he doesn't tip it in, he could probably get a rebound goal. That's another great way to score in NHL 15. It wasn't so much in 14, but remember NHL 13? That was basically how you scored. It's back a little bit. The goalies control it a little bit better. But rebounds are definitely an option when it comes to scoring goals in NHL 15. I mean, the other benefit is you don't need much time to get it away. And if you've tried all the other options, just throw one on net. It might work out. Now for my last tip on scoring goals in NHL 15, we're going back to the backhander. Now the backhander is absolutely cheese and it should be higher on the list, but the only problem is you have to be in fairly close with the goalie one on one. You can see it does work in a game, it does work in practice. You can definitely score with the backhander in NHL 15 for the first time ever. This might be the first time ever in the NHL franchise that you can actually go upstairs with the backhander. It's a legit weapon and uh, you should use it if you got some room. But anyways guys, hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully you start scoring more goals. And if you did, and if you appreciate the tips videos, I will be bringing more. But if you could hit that like button for me right now, I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys soon.